Hi everyone, welcome back to Beef Reacts, and today we are going to be watching Ruby, Volume 1, Chapters 15 and 16. That's right, we're finishing up Ruby Volume 1 today. And after that, um, I'm going to be doing the uh, official soundtrack afterwards, like in a separate video. Um, I do want to ask you guys, so I know I talked about it a little bit beforehand, um, I'd be really interested in breaking down the opening um, theme of this and just kind of talking about how it gives the thematic structure for the entire season and like how the scenes like break down into it. But I'd want to do that in a separate video as long as that's cool with you. And um, just let me know if you want it. Um, if not, totally cool. I also thought maybe breaking down the season as a whole, like maybe in like a 10 minute short like video essay type format would be interesting. Um, that's if you guys want it. If you just want me to keep reacting and chugging along, that's totally cool too. But that being said, let's just jump into it with some more Ruby. You know, since like episode, I think five or six, we haven't seen that guy. So like, I, I, I hope he comes back. Like, I hope there's some conflict this season. Like I was really thinking about it as much as I like Jones, um, arc that he had there, where it's kind of like him coming into his own like leadership role. It, 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 there really wasn't much going on in like a conflict sense in like a larger story s thing. I still think we should go ahead and fuck Carden Winchester because he's still the worst ever. But like, I'm just curious. Like, when is um, when's that dude coming back? That leader of the gang. Such a cool thing. Wonderful. I don't think I've ever seen you smile this much, Weiss. It's kind of weirding me out. How could you not smile? A festival dedicated to the cultures of the world. There will be dances, parades, a tournament. Oh, the amount of planning and organization that goes into this event is simply breathtaking. You really was Vale one of the um one of the things on the map and um from a couple episodes ago. I don't think it was. I don't remember it being something on the map. Um, that being said, so we're setting this up that there is a, a, a international culture festival going on currently. So this makes me believe setup wise, they're, they're bringing back the mob guy, which makes sense. But... The world. There will be dances, parades, a tournament. Oh, the amount of planning and organization that goes into this event is simply breathtaking. You Damn. really know how to take a good thing and make it sound boring. Quiet, you. <laughs> Remind me again why we're spending our Friday afternoon visiting the stupid docks. Oh, they smell like fish. I've heard the students docks. visiting from Vecchio will be arriving by ship today. And as a representative of Beacon, I feel as though it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. She's sussing out the competition, isn't she? Isn't she? She's totally sussing, sussing out the competition. I've heard that students visiting from Vacua will be arriving by ship today. And as a representative of Beacon, I feel as though it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. She wants to spy on them so she'll have the upper hand in the tournament. Thank you, Blake. Prove that. Whoa. Hmm. 
That's a different store, right? Yeah, it's a different store. What happened here? Robbery. Second dust shop to be hit this week. The place is turning into a jungle. <laughs> they wouldn't tell them that. Like. <laughs> say that it's like it's like a ima imagine the fucking scooby-doo gang walks up to a murder scene and they're like what's going on here murder second one this week who would say that i <laughs> i'm not saying it's bad it's just it's a little goofy right <laughs> what happened here robbery second dust shop to be hit this week <laughs> the place is turning into a jungle <laughs> that's terrible they left all the money again. Huh? Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. Who needs that much dust? I don't know. An army? You thinking the, uh, White Fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. Well, um, listen. So they didn't take any money. That's great. That guy's still ruined. Like, I, like, um, you know. It's like, business is still ruined. It's like, well, you know, he could still buy some dust. I'm sure the money that he already used to buy the dust was meant to be sold to get more dust and take a little bit of a profit because that's just, that's just how fucking business works. So, like, they just robbed this man blind of his ability and they're like, well, they didn't take any money. Who needs that much dust? They could be reselling it on the black market at a cheaper price because they got it for, I don't know, free. So, like, there's there's so many things that they could do with it. It's like, oh, we're not paid enough to deal with this. This is why neither of you will go up in this world. And I'm not trying to make any comments about that. I'm just saying that, like, dog, what the fuck? Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. Who needs that much dust? I don't know. An army? You thinking the, uh, White Fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. <laughs> hmm. The White Fang. What an awful bunch of degenerates. What's your problem? My problem? I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. They're a collection of misguided faunists. Misguided? They want to wipe humanity off the face of the planet. So then they're very misguided. Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. Hmm. Wait. Um, yeah, so... This is just insane expositional dialogue and at some point every single show has to do this where it's like there's a lull on it so there's not really much i could react to in this except i'm just getting bits and pieces of the world and like the lore so i didn't know that the white fang was just a bunch of faunus and the fact that it is um not that like it changes things really but if they already fought that war as they were talking about and that they were given some type of uh, I don't really know if they said freedom, but they were able to beat them and fight for their revolution or whatever. And now that they're misguided, I mean, Blake's really bringing it in, but like in the same regard, I couldn't call them criminally insane. I just think that like, it's, it's a weird middle ground. And I do like that. They're immediately setting up something between a conflict between Weiss and Blake. Be off the face of the planet. So then they're very misguided. Either way, it doesn't explain. I'm gonna go back. Their collection of misguided faunists. Misguided? They want to wipe humanity off the face of the planet. So then they're very misguided. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. Hmm. Blake's got a point. Besides, the police never caught that Torchwick guy I ran into a few months ago. Hmm. Maybe it was him. That still doesn't change the fact that the White Fang are a bunch of scum. Those faunas only know how to lie, cheat, and steal. That's not necessarily true. Hey, stop that faunas! Oh, damn, he's hot! Thanks for the ride, guys! <laughs> and he's like a monkey man! You know and quick. Hey! A no good stowaway would have been caught. I'm a great stowaway. King! Hey, get down from there this instant. That seems stupid. <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> Well, Weiss, you want... 
Oh, he's got that Riz. He's got he's he's got that Riz on lock, and that is all that matters. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Blake. I'm with it a hundred percent. I understand and I encourage it a lot. Like, watch this. Like he. Listen, I'm partial to Yang Gang, well, but you wanted to see the competition, and there it goes. Quick, we have to observe him. Okay. Oh. You know, up until this point, um, a lot of like the animation stuff, they've been able to get away with it because they use a lot of still shots and like. You normally don't see their feed, but the only time, like, this takes... It's not even a dip in quality, because it's not even that bad. It's just, like, when they're running or doing something, it's just a little goofy looking. And there's still nothing wrong with that. Like, you know what I mean? No, he got away! Uh... Weiss? <laughs> Salutations! Queen! Um, hello. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. Who are you? Do you want to get up? Yes. Ooh, a kip up. My name is Penny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. Blake. Are you sure you didn't hit your head? Oh, I'm Yang. It's a pleasure mm -hmm. to meet you. You already said that. So I did. Well, sorry for She's a robot, you. right? Like she's not a real okay, person. Friend. Or maybe she is. But she can't be real. Like she has to be a robot. She was weird. A robot. Now, where did that Faunus Riffraff run off to? Okay, dog. What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. No, not you. You. Me? I, I don't know I, what I, um, uh... You called me friend. Am I really your friend? Um... Sure. You're in this situation. I don't know what you're doing here, but, like... I don't think saying no is the right call. I think you say yes here. I, right? Like, this seems, this seems like a bad call to say no to her. I, I don't know I, what I, um, uh... You called me friend. Friend. Am I really your friend? Sure are. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys. Oh, is this what it was like when you met me? No, she seems far more coordinated. So, what are you doing in Vale? Prissy bitch! She's still a prissy bitch, and it's been months. It has been months since that day, and she's still a prissy bitch. You are far less coordinated. Now, that being said, was it a great joke? Oh my god, yeah. And you could tell that they're great friends for the way that they can make that type of joke back to each other. But, like, damn. Can talk about cute boys. Oh, I'd be your friend. Like when you met me? No, she seems far more coordinated. So, I'd be your boy, you Penny. Doing in Vail? I'm here to fight in the tournament. Wait. You're fighting in the tournament? I'm combat ready. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Respect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you're here for the tournament, does that mean you know that monkey-tailed rapscallion? The who? The filthy faunus from the boat. Why do you keep saying that? Listen, Weiss, you're like... <laughs> guys listen it's like i i'm waiting for her to say some equivalent to a slur here and i know that's fucked up but like like you know <laughs> like i just i'm getting the feeling she's about to say something real fucked and i'm with it if you're here for the tournament does that mean you know that monkey-tailed rapscallion the who the filthy faunus from the boat she Why drew him that quick saying that huh Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. He's a person. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Would you like me to stop referring to the trash can as a trash can? Or this lamppost as a lamppost? Stop it! Stop what? He clearly broke the law. Give him time. He'll probably join up with those other faunus in the white fang. Ugh, you ignorant little brat! How First off, listen. She she walks. She got she got that walk, dog. Like let's let's take a moment and appreciate Blake walking one more time. And I don't mean that in like any type of way. Just like like she got that sash. She got that. You know what I mean? Get a little fucking Z snap in there, baby. Ugh, you ignorant little brat. Wait for it. Mm. How dare you talk to me? Like She's walking that. like Shadow in Sonic teammate. Adventure Two. You are a judgmental little girl. What in the world makes? Because you are. Uh, I think we should probably go. Where are we going? Based on his species makes you just as much of a scoundrel as you believe him to be. So you admit it. The White Fang is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant and you know it. I don't understand why this is causing such a problem. That Dog, you're arguing about... First off, Weiss, this is not a good look for you at all. And like, I don't... I don't think y'all are going to resolve this overnight because this looks like it was bred into you and like someone tells me like Blake grew up with Faunus or some shit because like this just this ain't a good look for you dog and that like my heart goes out to you I haven't been there because you know I'm not a bigot but like you know you're you're in this situation that's on you you kind of fucked it though as you believe him to be so you admit it the White Fang is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I don't understand why this is causing such a problem. That is the problem. Do you realize you're defending an organization that hates humanity, don't you? The faunus of the White Fang are pure evil. There's no such thing as pure evil. Why do you think they hate humanity so much? It's because of people like Cardin, people like you, that forced the White Fang to take such drastic measures. People like me? You're discriminatory! I'm a victim! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? Why yes. I don't particularly trust the Faunus? It's because they've been at war with my family for years. War as an actual bloodshed. My grandfather's company has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear. Board members executed. An entire train car full of dust stolen. And every day, my father would come home furious. And that made for a very difficult childhood. Why I No! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? It's because they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers. Well, maybe we were just tired of being pushed around. I knew it! I called it, baby! Also, first off, let's just take a moment here. And, and, so she was tired of being pushed around. We watched her leave and betray Blake because he wanted to, and I quote, murder innocent fucking crew members. Not just, listen, listen, alright? I'm all for a good Robin Hood story. I'm, I am all for, you know, let's just, let's, Take take from the rich, give to the poor. I get it. Let's let's fight for our freedom. I get it. But like, on one hand, I can understand what Weiss is saying in this specific si like s sense. On the other, it's like Blake genuinely is not wrong that every single one of them has a reason to do what they're doing. But like, I think there is this weird issue with a lot of writing and a lot of like um, character development these days, where like we automatically assume because somebody has a reason for doing something that somehow now justifies what they're doing. If you want to go out and murder 50 people because some, because you had a fucking horrible childhood, that doesn't negate the fact that you've just now hurt innocent people. So like, I understand that you might have been a part of the organization, but you left for good fucking reason. So, like, you can still be sympathetic towards them and understand that not all of them are evil. And, like, Weiss genuinely is coming across as bigoted and arrogant and rude. But, like, on God, like, 
she's making a valid point of like I didn't know any of that. Like if I can if I was raised in a home where like my uncle, my fucking father, my grandfather, their friends and family, my aunts and uncles randomly disappeared because of a a shadow organization. Yeah, I'd be a little fucking pissed about that shadow organization. And like where she's taking it too far, she's applying it to every faunus, which is disgusting. Like that's where it's wrong. But like if she wants to sit there and be like, no, the White Fang is a disgusting organization that has killed so many people, I can agree with that. Alright? I can I can get behind that type of argument. But let's continue. I'm sorry for this little rant. Hey, for a very difficult childhood. Why I No! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? It's because they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers. Well, maybe we were just tired of being pushed around. I... Wait! Wait! Come back! Hmm. Blake, you murdered people. Like, you didn't say you killed people. Murdered. And you, your response to that was tired of being pushed around. Now, words have meaning. If she said we killed people, okay, that's self-defense. There was some type of reason that, like, you felt like you needed to do that. Murder is the forceful taking of innocent life. By definition. Like, I, I think there's more to the definition, like, in terms of, like, degrees and shit like that but like that's that's the thing it's it's the forceful taking of innocent life if you're saying that you didn't forcefully take innocent life and people were deserving of it then that's i mean like that's i, I can't i can't comment on that but like it it there's definitions matter within the context especially when it comes to writing Is she going to be a faunus? I knew you would look better without the bow. Cute. She's been gone all weekend. Blake's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. Weiss, come on. She's one of our teammates. Is she? We all heard what she said. Weiss, maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Either way, she's missing and we need to find her. A member of the White Fang, right underneath our noses. I just hope she's okay. X member. She's an X member of the White Fang. So, you want to know more about me? They smushed, right? I think they smushed. What the hell? Something fell. Whoops. My bad, everyone. Uh, so, that was chapter 15. I'll be right back with chapter 16. Uh, learning a lot about Weiss's history here, uh, really into it so far, so, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with the next one. Alright, and we're back at it with chapter 16. Last chapter, we saw some of Blake's backstory, she was part of the White Fang, which is technically a terrorist organization. Um, I don't know why I'm recapping this for you guys, like, we didn't just watch it together, but... I'm curious, this is, like, the way that this is gonna play out... I think there's going to be a bigger understanding between Weiss and Blake at the end of this. And that's going to be, I'm, um, I'm interested to see how it plays out and how their differences come together. And the fact that she's been hiding her, her, uh, Fauna's heritage this entire time, even though I'm not going to lie to you looking back on it when I first saw her, um, 
I think I said that she had cat ears. And then somebody told me that it was just a bow. But she's still a faunus. So, I don't... Somebody double check. I'll double... Maybe I'll double check. I don't fucking know. But, like... Let's just see where this goes. I accidentally stopped recording. Shit. I didn't start the episode, though. I just accidentally stopped recording. My bad. Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah, like that. Son, are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's a faunus on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. King. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. King! I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you were a member of the White Fang? I... <laughs> He's like, fuck. It's like this. Uh, he's like, he's like, oh no, they're cool. They're like the greatest organization ever. Like, I'm actually, I'm like, I'm the kingpin. I'm the boss. I'm the boss of the white thing. You get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> you don't say. Wait a minute. You were a member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Hmm. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, I... You were five. Like, as as someone who totally believes in protest and what protests can do, I've never understood why you bring children to protests. Because there's there's always the opportunity for them to become violent, regardless what you're protesting. And, like, I've never understood why you would bring kids to that. Um... Obviously, you want children to be a part of it and to participate and, like, you know, let their voice be heard and stuff like that. But, like, why? Right? Like, maybe I'm crazy, but, like, I just never understood why you would bring, like, a child to a protest. Especially one like this. Because this can easily turn violent. Front of every and this rally, is how kids I die. I part in every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down, and a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from companies that used bonus labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect, out of fear. So that's why she gave so much of a fucking episode two about Weiss and the, and the, and the labor. I thought she was just super into politics, but no, cause she literally, well, she is super into politics, but I mean like, cause she's a faunus. I, I know I'm being was, stupid right now, but working. like, shit. We being treated like equals. That's just cool. It's a cool callback. Out of respect. Out of fear. So I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence, and instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, all with the help of a little black bow. So, have you told your friends any of this? Might be able to help? The police. Ugh, Weiss. It was just an idea. Yeah, bad one. Weiss, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we Thank hear you, it, Yang. you'll all realize I was right. And I I disagree. Because I just heard her side of the story, and I think you're still a prissy bitch. Just an idea. Yeah, bad one. Weiss, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Ah, Penny, where did you come from? Hey, guys, what are you up to? Why are you being uh, such a bitch to Penny? We're looking for our friend Blake. 
Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a bow. I, I, they, she does like tuna a lot. So, where is she? Clearly cat ears. You don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible. Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Thank uh, you. That's really Penny? nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really. The fact that they treat Penny less than for some fucking reason when she has been nothing but nice to these people. Is she a lot? Sure. But like, what the fuck? Like, what has Penny done to you? Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Thank uh, you, that's Penny. That's really nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really. Right, guys? Y'all are a bunch of bitches to Penny. Don't sleep on Penny. All right? Don't sleep sure on her. windy today. <laughs> so, what's the plan now? I still don't believe the White Fang is behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there, right? You're a himbo. You are the definition of a himbo, and I, and I fuck with you, sir. The way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. Genius. Right? Genius! The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big Shinny Company freighter. You're sure? Thanks anyways. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. Except for all the times they do. Because... So it's Wait. a hopeless situation, and they have to run. <sighs> Just... Weiss, you make it hard to like you. And I know I'm gonna like you eventually. Like, I, I feel it in my fucking bones. But you're making it really fucking hard to like you right now. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. So... Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? <sighs> well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. <gasps> is she a man? No, no, <laughs> Penny. She's not. I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did... I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Thank you, Penny. That was insightful commentary. You know what, Penny? You deserve better. Did I miss anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're so just sitting there. You're based off, I don't want to say Son Goku, but you're definitely based off like the uh, guy from Journey to the West. Just vibe-wise. The Monkey King? Anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. I stole you some food. Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? <laughs> okay, too soon. Oh, he's also Aladdin. Is that them? Yes. It's them. Uh, it looks like them. All right. Grab the tow cables. You really didn't think they were behind it, did you? No. I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey! What's the hold up? We're not exactly the most inconspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment. So, why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? So what could he need all that dust for? I think he's trying to make them... I think he's trying to take down the Sneak Company so that way he could become a major player. 
in the dust market, forcing them, um, if this entire world runs off dust, which I think it does, and which this is admitted to being completely run off dust, if he were to continue taking these massive and massive amounts of it, eventually when the Snee Company mines run out, and eventually when all this stuff happens, they can't pay their workers, they can't do this. Honestly, he's hurting more Faunus than you think, because if Faunus are working for the Snee Company, and they need to be laid off like that, like, like it's, it's an ends justify the means type situation for him, and I'm not even saying that they're not being taken advantage of the Faunus, but like, I think a lot of those Faunus workers probably would still like their fucking jobs. I, I just, just a weird guess here. And I think what he's going to end up doing is trying to use and, and leverage all of this dust to force humanity to come to him and bow to his will until he can eventually just take over these dust mines. That is my thought. Oh shit, I'm mute. But we have 10 seconds. Conspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment. So, why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? No, thank this you. This isn't right. The White Fang would never work with a human. Especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? No, you idiot. This isn't a leash? No, what the? Oh, for f Nobody move! <laughs> oh, for f Whoa! Take it easy there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why are you aiding this scum? <laughs> oh, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. See, this is what blind idealism gets you. Uh, Blake, there was a lot of options here. You did not pick one of the good ones. You picked A1, and I give you props for it, but you did not pick the good ones. Where's our monkey man? Oh, no. Shit. Did she just after image? Did she just fucking after image, dude? Let's see it. Let's see it one time. Yeah, she after imaged. Shoot there. That's fucking sick. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. King. Leave her alone. And he's got a pocket chain, so you know he's cool. Oh no, faceless enemies. Whatever will I do? You are not the brightest banana in the bunch, are you, kid? He's got a bow staff. It's sick. And he's dance fighting. Fuck yeah! Is she doing this after image shit? It's so fucking. Is that her semblance? Is there semblance she can make fucking after images? Because if so, that is fucking sick. That is amazing. I know I'm like going off on this, but like, holy fuck. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Nunchuck shotguns that turn into a staff? It's so cool. I, I still want sight gun, but this is a close fucking second, dog. <laughs> like, that is so cool. Ah! 
I think they got it still. Hey. Oh, hello, you Red. have a Is shotgun. Past your bedtime? You have a sniper rifle. You. I'm sorry, but you're gonna say, "Hey, you have a sh you have a sniper rifle." Could have aimed it at his head. First off, th this is the second time in this fight when people should have taken shots and they shouldn't, and they didn't. Namely, bad guy here, like he should have taken a shot. Like, boom, dead, boom, dead, boom, dead. Hey! A lot of options. Oh, should have taken a shot. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, are these people your friends? Penny, get back. <laughs> <laughs> no. Finally! Wait, stop! Fuck yeah, Penny! Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready. I knew it. She was an android. I love her. I fucking love her. Everyone wanted to shit on Penny. Everyone everyone wanted to sit there and be mean to Penny. And you know what? You know who wins out in this? Beef wins out in this. You know why? Because I would have been best fucking friends with Penny. Because she's dope. Yeah, I bet you feel like a real asshole right now, Ruby. Cause you should. I think we owe Penny a big thank you, and if she doesn't get it, I will be upset. Penny deserves this thank you, she needs this thank you, and I want her to have it. I want her to have everything she deserves. Mostly friends. Look, Weiss, it's not what you think. She explained the whole thing. You see, she doesn't actually wear a bow. She has kitty ears, and they're actually kind of cute. They are cute. Weiss, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with- Stop. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? 12 hours. That means I've had 12 hours to think about this. And in that 12 hours, I've decided... I don't care. You don't care? You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was younger. Up, 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 up. I don't want to hear it. All I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up, you'll come to your teammates. And not some... someone else. What, you could just say dirty fucking Faunus. Like, we know what you mean. And it's sick that you would say that. It's disgusting you would call him a dirty fucking Faunus like that. I'm just gonna make that a running joke that Weiss is a prissy bitch and that she is a fucking <laughs> bigot. This big comes up? You'll come to your teammates. And not some... someone else. You know, that's a great sign of maturity. So respect to Weiss for having it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah! Team Ruby is back together! It seems like this entire thing happened off screen, though, which I don't like. And, like, I know I keep pausing here, but I'm thinking about it just now. It feels a little unearned, and I don't mean that in, like, a negative way. Like, the show's still doing a great job, and it, they only have a 12 to 15 minute runtime. So, like, there's... It's like watching Adventure Time, and, like, I, I used to watch Adventure Time, and I was like, damn, I really wish this just had one more thing to really flesh out what's going on. And, like, I'm happy we got to see the fight, but in the same time, like, 
this feels somewhat unearned because White, like, we didn't get to watch Weiss progress. Like, I saw her be a bigot last night, and, like, maybe I shouldn't use the word bigot, and honestly, if, if you're upset about me using that terminology or, like, anything like that, like, you know, I am sorry, but, like, that's what it is. It's just bigotry and, like, and discrimination at its whole. And, like, she has a night to think about it. She's searching this entire day, and now she's like, I I had the entire day to think about it, and this is what I, I came up with. And it's like, it feels nice, but the problem is, ultimately, is that it feels unearned. And um, I want to like it, and I want, like, I shouldn't say I want to like it. I do like it. I just really wish I had a scene between Yang and fucking Weiss where one of them helps out a Faunus or, or Weiss is forced to help out a Faunus who's being mistreated and she she understands and has something echoed to her where being a huntress or a hunter is not about... It has nothing to do with the people you're protecting. At the end of the day, you're just going to have to protect people. And that that is a two-minute scene that I think would add so much to this fucking payoff. But unfortunately, we don't get it. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. Uh. He's hot. <laughs> He's a himba. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Penny, your time will come. Who is that? Queen has pawns. Hmm. I love Penny. She's so fucking sick, dude. Oh shit. Hmm. Let's hear this. New song. New song drop. Such a beautiful song. So, um, sorry, I don't know if you guys read credits or anything like that, but I like the one that said, uh, uh, the hot wife. I thought that was pretty funny of the one lead animator. Um, I didn't want to talk during that because genuinely it's just, it was a very beautiful and hot, like, I'm really excited to listen to this OST next. Like it, the music here is just so fucking beautiful. Ah, 
How very disappointing, Roman. Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. We were expecting more from you. Hey, you were the ones who suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. <laughs> and you will continue to do so. We have big plans for you, Roman. All we ask is a little cooperation. Oh, shit! Okay! Alright, damn! Oh, shit! Guys, I'm excited for Volume 2. I am going to, um... Fuck it. That, that's gonna be so fucking cool, isn't it? Oh, my God. Um, sorry, just... Yeah. This is, um... Volume 1, just... There's no way for me to sum up this incredible fucking thing besides it's amazing. Like, it's just, it's so fucking good. And, like, I'm so happy to be watching this and, like, to be here, you know, with you guys experiencing it for the first time. Like, it's not about... It's not about necessarily the quality. It's the fact that it was it was made, and I can't I can't stress that enough. Like, this team is relatively small in terms of an animation department currently, but like, like this is this is what creation does. This is what the beauty and hard work and sleepless fucking nights gets you. And it's like, I can goof on the fact that when they run, it looks a little janky. But honestly, what like, and I mean this with like no disrespect, but like. What the fuck have you done? Like, what the fuck have I done? And, like, I don't mean that in, like... Like, I, 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 like what I mean is, they did it. They did something rather than nothing. And they're doing something and putting that fucking time and effort. Even if it looks janky, they fucking... Their writing team is showing such great prowess. Their animation, the way that they're editing, is showing such great fucking, like, strides... Like, this is how you get into this career. This is how you get the money you need to make something. And, like, just to be a part of this is just such a beautiful fucking thing. Like, I can't stress enough how much I I loved this entire volume. Like, yeah. I have, I have Joan Arcate. Yeah, I think Weiss is a prissy bitch. Yeah, this little arc right here with, with the White Fang, like... Ultimately speaking, do I think the like I think what they were going for and what they were trying to accomplish with like themes of discrimination and things like that, they took like albeit it wasn't as nuanced as necessarily I would have liked it, they still went more nuanced than ninety nine percent of most fucking things. Do you know how often you don't see Weiss's perspective. And I'm not even saying her perspective is a good fucking perspective. I actually disagree with it wholeheartedly. But the fact that they took the time to characterize and and give Weiss this background, this fucking deep inner turmoil about the White Fang, is it showing that she's a bigot? Sure. But then we get to see Blake's side of the, the aisle where it's like it, it started out as this and like as she was a child protester who eventually got recruited into the White Fang and then it was taken over by more violent extremists and that's a real world fucking thing that happens. Like they did such a good job with writing this and like I'm clowning on like little minute things that don't that don't make it bad. It's just naturally I fully believe and this is just how I am I critique with love if I am not expressive if I am not critiquing it then I don't care like I wanted to see that 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 small little detail of Weiss and Yang helping out Afanis not because it's like oh I'm so much better it's that when I fucking one day I hope I can make something Anywhere near this caliber. 1% as good as this. I say that because... It's with all the love in the world. It's like, ah, this would have been so cool if just this tiny bit was right here. And, like, that's not an insult to it. It's just, like, you critique the things you love because that's what... It gives, you not ownership, but, like, it, it makes you feel a part of it in a way. Like... Like, if somebody watched this immediately, like, if I showed this one of my friends, they're like, oh, I don't like the animation, I would clown on them. I'd be like, you're fucking stupid. 
because it's not about that. It's about the whole. And like, it's just, I've been ranting for like five minutes. I am so sorry, but God, this was so fucking good. Um, I just, I just have so much to say. And like Monty Ohm really, <sighs> I heard he passed away during the release of volume three or after volume three wrapped. And, like, may he rest in peace and everything because what he started here is something that is unique and one of a kind. And, like, the fighting is so fucking beautiful and amazing. And, like, it, it, there's so much I can say about it. And it's, like, hard for me to just say it as a live reaction right now because I want to collect my thoughts and genuinely give you guys, like, a video essay. Like, uh, for lack of a better word, a video essay. And if you are interested in seeing that, for the love of God, just let me know. Because I have so much to say about this volume alone. And I'd gladly do it with all nine. Because what they were setting up here was themes of leadership. With themes of like following. With like at the end here with this last arc of like discrimination. Like you're building this world that you're going to build. Like that you're going to expand on the next two volumes. And then after that your creation gets given not to a new generation. But given to somebody else because of like you know the passing. And we... And we see how that expands even further. Like, this is just... I, I'm, there's just so much to fucking say. And there's not enough time to say it because there's nothing left to watch right now. But, genuinely, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Volume 1 of Ruby. Um, if you don't mind, please like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to push for a thousand. Not for any particular reason. I just... Yeah. already this show's impacted my life more than you could really ever imagine so like thank you guys so much for being a part of this ride with me and i'll see you today is what's today today is thursday i'll see you guys saturday with the like official soundtrack and um after the official soundtrack i'll i'll do the breakdown of the opening i guess if as long as you guys are okay with that but just let me know in the comments below how this impact, like impacted you, where you were, what, how you got introduced. I'm going to try to ask you guys more questions because I really want us to become a community. Thank you so much. I post every single day. This has been Beef Reacts, and uh, I hope you have a great one.